Hello everybody, Sabine here. We're going into move and breathing and we're working on the shoulders and the hips. What you will need is a belt, a stick or a scarf. If you haven't got anything, you just pretend. We're starting off with shoulder flossing, so we will mobilize into the shoulders, into the hips. You can choose to sit on a chair, you can be in a kneeling position. You also can stand up, what I will do today. If you're using a belt, make sure you maintain tension in your band and just start by moving in your range. I go upside on so you can see it from the side, maybe taking the band all the way behind you. If you need more space, create more space between your hands. And as you're going through your shoulder flossing, just make sure you're keeping your rib cage pulled in. Stay neutral in your spine and have a softness in your elbows and in your knees. Use your inhale to lift your arms and then exhale as you lower your arms either behind you or in front. If you get confused with the breathing, just keep on breathing. Okay, just one more. And then we're warming up and mobilizing through the hips. So letting go of your bend and I'll show it to your side from the side first. Come into standing position and make a fist. It gives you a little bit of stability there. Turn into the belly, bring the weight into your left leg, bring your right leg up, external rotate, tap. Make sure your pelvis stays square to the front. Bring your leg back and tap. That's one, two, three, four, and we go for one more, five. Come into balance into your right. Again, make sure you activate through your belly, lifting your left leg up, turn it out, tap, and bring it back in. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. Great, and release, shake it out. Using a spinal rod on to make the way to the floor. So taking a breath in, find length through your spine and then tuck your chin to your chest. Continue to breathe. Take another breath here and then bending your knees, walk forward and come on to hands and knees. Taking in, inhale, find length in your spine. And on your exhale, come into your cat stretch. And really down into your upper back, pressing your hands down and forward. And really tuck your tailbone under. With your next inhale, come back into a neutral position and keep continuing to move into a back bend, into your calf, and then find the neutral position. Now just turn your hands, it depends a little bit on your range. So out to the side, or if you can, turn your fingers all the way towards you. You can have your shoulders slightly behind or in front, depends on intensity. Doing a cat stretch here, so rounding into your cat stretch. Take another breath, and then come all the way back. Finding neutral, shake out your hands. Moving into the hips. So similar to what we just did standing. So taking your right leg out to your side, circle it, bring the knee back under the hip and then reverse the circle. That is one, two, three, four, and five. Pause, switching sides. So lifting your left leg out to your side, take it behind underneath your hip and then reversing it. One, two, keep squeezing your forearms to the midline, three, four, and last one, five. Next one, warming up through the back. I go into a diagonal, so stretching your arms and your legs away from each other. Find an activation through your core. I'm actually moving a little bit back so you can see my limbs. 
Hip can stay on the floor slightly lifted up to you. Starting off lifting right arm, left leg. And release and then alternate with the other side. Keep going on your own time, about a minute. Keep pressing down the pubic bone into the earth. And try to keep your torso nice and steady. Do your last round. Then lift both legs up. Glide your hands to your side. Roll your shoulders on. Then lifting up your chest, we're moving into Cobra. When you come to a point, you need to lower your feet, lower your feet, stay here, maybe go into a slightly higher lift. And then lifting your pelvis, moving back. And this time, putting your toes under, walk back, and we're going into a lower squat. You can take your legs as wide as you need to, also external rotation will help you to create um, a little bit more excess. Hands into prayer, lifting your spine. And we're starting off with the right knee, bringing the right knee to the floor. We tap, bring it back, and then the left. Bring it back. Two, three, four, last round, five. From here, lifting your seat, walk your, back, walk your feet back into parallel, as wide as your hips are wider if you need the space. Relaxing your spine, press your feet into the earth, and then lifting your spine back up into standing. Rolling your shoulders onto your back. Find again your prop. If you've got your belt, maintain a resistance. Come into a wide squat, so very similar to what we just did. And then lifting your arms up, and as you lift your arms up, bend your knees into your squat. Press your knees out, but hug your shins in. And as you come up, take the bend, if it's okay for you, behind you. And then bending your knees, lifting your arms. And this time, as you come up, lower your arms out in front. All right, lifting up and come all the way up into standing. Inhale, exhale, press to the feet. Inhale, exhale, press to the feet again. Inhale, exhale, come back up. Lifting up, bending your knees. Rising up, lowering arms, and one more. And release. Great, walk your feet back in. Take a breath in, and on your exhale, come into a spinal roll down, letting go of your arms, bending your knees as much as you need to, and you might want to hold onto your arms, but very gently sway your upper body from side to side. If you're holding onto your arm bones, you may want to change the class of your arm bones. Then release, bending your knees, walking forward and coming into down dog. And any kind of movement, so you may want to just pedal out your feet, maybe swinging the hips from side to side. Then step your right foot forward and lower your left knee down. Get hold of your belt again. Taking the belt into your right hand, take your right arm up towards the sky and then bend it. Take your left arm out to the left with your palm facing back and hold onto the bend again. Where's my one? Here we are. Great. Then we're playing a little bit of tuck and war with the bend. So starting off with your right arm, so lifting, 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 resist with the left, and then pull down with the left. It's not important to straighten the arms, but you can change obviously the distance between your hands. So you've got a little bit more range. Hugging your shins to the midline, so stay nice and stable in your lunge. 
in here. Make sure you breathe. Do as you can lift your chin out of your chest. Making sure your belly in, ribs in. And now find an even tug and war between your hands. So even stretch and then moving your arms away from you. Pull your belly in, pull your ribs in. Breathe. And then slowly release. Letting go. Step back into down dog. Step your left foot forward, allow your right knee down. Take a bend into your left hand. Take your left arm up towards the sky, bend it. Take your right arm out to the right. Turn your palm to the wall behind you and hold onto the bend. Pull your belly and your ribs in, hug your shins in. Tuck and war. So start off with your left arm wants to straighten, your right hand resist. Remember you can glide your hand down the bend to give you a little bit more range. And then do the same with the right. So keep going. Tuck and war. Stay steady through your lower body and stay braced in your core. And then find an even stretch and then moving your arms away from you, lifting your chin. Again, continue to breathe. Hugging your shins to the midline keeps the stability and then start to ease out. Release. If you choose to come onto hands and knees and do a few cat and cows. Or going into a down dog. Now walk your hands back towards your legs. Take a breath in and as you exhale, roll your spine up into standing. Rolling your shoulders onto your back. Come into a quadricep stretch and you can hold onto a wall. So bring the weight into your left leg, bend your right leg, catch your foot. You can always use your proper spine. So turn the belly in, bring your ribs in and think about pointing your right knee down. In your left hand you can place it onto your hip. You can also take it up towards the sky. Kick the foot into your hand, maintain the resistance, pull the heel towards your bum. Remember your breath. You can sigh out through your mouth if you need the space. And then release. Bring the weight into your right leg. Bend your left leg. Kick your foot into your hand. Draw the heel in. Point your left knee down. And again, you can choose right and onto your hip or reach up towards the sky. And then release out. Take a breath in and on your exhale, make your way back towards the floor. Walk forward into down dog or choose hands and knees. And then bring your right leg forward, lower your left knee down, come back to your belt. Okay. Doing our shoulder flossing, so lifting your arms and then take it behind you. And if you notice you need a bit more space, create a bit more space between your hands, have a wider grip. All right, from here, lifting your arms, hug your shins in, now bend your left leg and keep moving and take the bend around your foot. So kick the foot into your bend while you hold it and resist. Now bending your elbows, and bring the pinky side of your hands towards you. Staying here, remember to lift the pubic bone or bring your elbows forward. Keep kicking and maybe create a deeper back bend. I flex my left foot so that I can maintain the bend with the hook around my foot. Take another breath. And then release by letting go of one end of your prop. And then change legs. So 
Just a couple of shoulder flossing, so you know the right width between your hands. Hugging your shins in, so find your form, keep the integrity of your pose. Now pause, bend your right leg, take a bend around your foot, hug in, then bend, stay here, one option. By bringing your fist with the pinky side towards your ribs. And the next one is bringing your elbows forward and deepen into your stretch. Keep kicking, keep resisting, so a different kind of tug of war. Take another inhale and on your exhale release the bend release out of your stretch. Great. From here, come lying onto your back, going into windshield wipers. So taking your feet wider than your hips, resting arms by your side and just move your knees from side to side. Next time your knees pointing to the right side, take your right foot, step it on top. Make sure your feet are flexed. Begin to slow down your breath. Release and switch. Release and come back. Now you can choose. You can choose to stay here. You can bring your knees together. Heels apart, constructive rest pose. Arms by your side. You also can extend your legs out in front into Shavasana. Or if you prefer to come into a seat, come into a seat. And then place your hands into your heart center. Closing your eyes. And bring an evenness into your breath. Pick any number, use that one for your inhale. Pause for a fraction and then use the same number or maybe add one or two more to your exhale. Just find a pattern and stick to it. can stay here as long as you got time or you feel like you need a little bit of a longer rest if you like I would say thank you to do to you thanks for tuning in namaste see you next time